in this video I'm gonna show you how to use uh, Arena Visual Designer dashboard in order to compare uh, a component or a process over the whole day for example number of people queuing utilization of a resource which is the idle busy uh, so instead of getting the average idle or average busy over the whole day of utilization you could get over you could compare it over the whole day so let's see how it is used we're gonna start by uh, creating a simple module on arena so basic process we have the create process dispose I'm gonna zoom in so this is a system in every one minute a process this is machine for example machine A and we have sys delay release add ok operator we're gonna name the operator as George and as well it is per minute and this is the system exit I'm gonna link all three together so this is the first step and I'm gonna save it as my system so this is the first step I'm gonna make sure it works okay so we have run setup eight hours if you have any problem with setting this we have to go back to the replication parameters in one of my videos so you just we're gonna we'll slow it down and run the program uh, so just to make sure it is working uh, and I apologize my computer is a little bit slow today so we have the system running and we have the number of in the queue as we could see it here as one two three four five four three and it's going up and going down okay and this number always is equal to the number of people in the queue plus one which is this person being served or the entity being served okay so i'm gonna stop the program we should go tool arena visual designer it's very extremely simple it, it seems much harder than it is uh, and we wait till it open it's non responding so I have to wait a little bit more okay so um, 3d we're gonna do it in another lesson but now we work on the 3d dashboard uh, project we're gonna create a special document for this and we say a special directory for this which is on the desktop and this is the name you could select the name to anything you want but make sure you select the dashboard project so we click on ok and we're waiting for it and I apologize as my computer is a little bit slow so it opened here this is the main screen the most important screen is there and we have one container one box so which is massive we're gonna play in this and change it a little bit so if I want to split it vertically into two so I could work now I have I could compare two results if I want to split this one horizontally if I want to insert a picture I just click on picture and drag and drop it here double click to insert the image and saying for example I've already got this one ready and I need to insert text here double click to insert text this program will introduce user on the how about will introduce user will introduce the user to to dashboard concept okay uh, we are gonna compare the number of entity 
do the queue over the whole working days of eight hours and i'll click ok so you have the data here i'm gonna drag this one a little bit you could see how it's automatically zoom in and out if this one is too small you just have to select it and you uh, we change the font for example and this goes ok till you're happy with the font this is too big so we change the font to 16 and we select it and still too big we change it to 11 but you have to select it first and so this is 16 and done ok so we're gonna compare I'm gonna choose this dynamic plot in order to compare uh, the number of a unit or entity skewing which is the plot here drag it from there dynamic and uh, push it here so I'm gonna just to have more space in order to be able to see uh, so we have two data series first we click on basic series 2 I'm gonna remove it because there's nothing related to series 2 we have the series 1 expression and so basic process q average number which is the machine a dot q and line color i'm gonna choose a red and average number of and it is in the q you can see it here as a legend i'm gonna close this 3D uh, does not look good at all. I'm gonna remove it, cancel it. Uh, chart access, you could just select uh, time for the A hours. Per day and chart title, for example, uh, average number of unit in queue you could see it here you could make it bigger title font black saying in case you want it red and it is red and you want to change the font it's done okay so i'm gonna close this about the legend it's taking some space from the chart so you could either remove it none or I always like to have it because if you're displaying more than one uh, line on the chart it's better to have it so always keep it bottom center and close this and we're done so I'm gonna move this one here so you could play it either you could run it from here all right or run the arena program from there just the same as the boss link so if i run it from here verifying project data the original one and it will run as you could see we're gonna end up with eight hours per day you could make it faster speed factor so We have like three hours. Okay, so we have just have to be patient till it finish. This is one way to do things, or we could do it the easiest way. So let's let it finish, or we could do it the easiest way. So this is eight hours per day. It will stop at eight, so we could see the maximum number of people in the queue were about four o'clock of the day or the other alternative we could run it from here the eight hours per day no and then you could come and run it here it's kind of run a model so do you want to click to a uh, no to continue running yes and so by doing this you could get the same results so you run the arena model and then you display which will make you let you compare everything over the whole day okay so this is the program as it is okay and 
we will obtain the comparison of the number of people in the queue over the whole day over eight hours and it's very obvious when it comes to the four o'clock of the day it's the busiest of the day okay so and thank you in the next video i'm going to show you how to compare utilization or how to compare numbers n number of average people in the queue over between two machines